Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Uh, I'm here with uh, <laughs> one of my cats. So she might pop in in the video, especially when I'm like showing you guys Amigurumis because uh, she wants cuddles and she often goes for my hands. So when I'm showing you guys things, I'm sure you'll see like her head pop up. But yeah, she's right here. <laughs> Oh, why do you look so grumpy? She's not. She's the sweetest thing in the world. Um, I didn't do a Everything I Crocheted This Week video last week because it was it was a pretty difficult week, to be honest. Um, I'm going to show you guys the crochet things first, and then I will go in, like, into what happened and things like that. I don't want to get you guys down you know if you're here for the crocheting I totally understand that I'll talk a little bit about life things afterwards but yeah this video is for the last two weeks I didn't do a whole lot of crocheting during like a five day period so honestly it it is what I crocheted in like one week but um date wise it's two weeks but yeah um there's quite a few of the same thing in here so I think that's funny um I have this yarn and I I think I took a picture of the label because it's a very different yarn to what I usually work with uh if I'm not mistaken it was like a five weight yarn and it's this green right here um it's kind of I don't know if you would say like a variegated no, I don't think that's variegated actually I feel like that's um there's another word for it but it's like this green kind of mixed with like brownish so it's an interesting color I personally have had it for like maybe three years and I had a pack of them so it's three skeins in like a plastic bag I bought it from Michael's at least three years ago and it was like a value pack that was on sale I think it was being discontinued but um yeah I I don't know why I bought it I probably because it was on sale and back then I didn't have a lot of yarn I'm really going through my yarn stash right now though like it's it's going <laughs> it's going well on that side too you can't see it but there are holes on that side as well but um yeah I'm proud of myself anyways I saw that and I was like you know what I have some yellow right here and um, that's on a little bit on the thicker side of worsted weight yarn so um I grabbed the green I grabbed my yellow and this is home no not homespun hometown I think no <laughs> it, it's similar I think but anyways this is big twist it's not the yarn I'm going to show you guys right now but um that one is a little bit on the thicker side too so anyways I keep getting distracted <laughs> long story short I grabbed the green yarn and I was like I feel like I'm just gonna use it up right now like the whole skein because and I have three of the green skeins because I don't know what else I'm gonna make with it it's a thicker yarn and I am I don't know I'm not a huge fan of the color but it just works so great with this one project that I feel like I'm gonna use up all of my three skeins uh, on this project and to be honest I used up two I have one left so I have these adorable ducks I took pictures of them and I posted them but they're bigger than they appear in the picture to me anyways um I feel like they look much smaller in the picture but no they're a pretty good size and it is again with thicker yarn um I enjoyed making them I made one two three four five I made six of them using up that yarn I finished two green skeins and I want to say like two and a half yellow um I have this yellow left which is different than this one but I will probably do the same thing since I still have that one green skein left um but they're so cute this is a free pattern on Instagram I've made it before but never with like the thicker yarn I actually made like five or six of these with um 
the same yarn, but I made them like two weeks ago. I made them for my craft fair, not craft fair, my market. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but there's six of those. So there's quite a few. Um, then I have, let me actually put, see if I could put them in this basket so you can see them all. Cause if I don't, Max, I could show you is like two at a time. <laughs> There they are. Uh, I have like a dozen now, but I might make like five or six more to finish up that last green skein. The only thing is you use four safety eyes. So if you don't have a lot of safety eyes or you're not like in a position to buy safety eyes, um, yeah, you use four of them for two for the hat and then two for the duck. You can always embroider too. I personally do not have the talent to embroider eyes, so I go for the safety eyes for now. I made two loaf cats. One is this pink one, which I love. I tried to take pictures of it, and for some reason, this pink just did not photograph very well, but uh, it's super cute. I'm definitely going to save it for either a market in person or... Um, maybe the shop that I sell things at, but probably not online because I feel like it just looks so like bright pink even now. Yeah. But then the second loaf cat that I made, I actually don't have it with me. I'm sure I have a video of it. I actually posted like a whole video. Well, I don't know if it's posted yet, but I made a whole video um, dedicated to that cat. It'll either be the video before this one or the next video. Um, it was more like a calico looking cat it was really cute the main body was in white and then it had orange and black coloring and that one sold on my online plus plushy <laughs> etsy shop so i made a video packing that one up um yeah i really love that one and i want to remake it so you'll probably see one of that in person as like as well very soon because it's a super super cute one uh, the loaf cat pattern is a paid for pattern on Etsy and I think it's worth it it's really cute um, I enjoy it a lot then I randomly made a ghost with homespun yarn I'm telling you I'm going through my yarn stash <laughs> I was like I don't know what I'm gonna make with this let's pull it out and I made a ghost I have another project I'm working on so it's not here right now because I'm only showing you finished projects but there will be another homespun project um I used a five millimeter hook still with homespun yarn and which is the um hook that I normally use and I think it came out perfect so he's cute. <laughs> I actually posted him on my Etsy shop as well. Then I random, oh, the ghost had no pattern. That was just, I randomly made it. I made this guy. This was a pattern, a free pattern on Instagram. It's not my favorite, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the pattern is nice, but obviously when you have like bobble stitches and stuff like that a lot of times you do have to move them around a little bit because it can be off depending on like your tension and the yarn you're using and stuff so it is a dinosaur really cute and then it has like bobble stitches on the back i really had to mess with them and even then they're still crooked so as you can see this is like the top of the dinosaur and my bobble stitches just move everywhere so I don't know I probably won't be remaking this pattern but it is cute I enjoyed making it uh if you make it though pay attention <laughs> for the bobble stitches because mine are a little bit of a disaster but that's okay then I did another free Instagram pattern this one's a really cute one I love it so much I want to make so many more but it takes me so long to make and I'm curious if any of you guys have made this pattern too can you let me know like is this just me or did it take you maybe a little bit to make too this is a starfish pattern Ooh, um amigurumi but the pattern of course is for a starfish so cute just look at it oh my goodness and it photographs so well too <laughs> i posted some pictures i was so proud of them because she's so cute um 
it's a no sew pattern but you do end up with one two three four like five ends to weave in and then like your color changing ends too so there's a lot of that that part is time consuming for me uh I don't know you make like the it's really interesting again it's a free pattern on Instagram you start with like this piece and the back piece as well so without the arms you leave the holes and then you crochet the arms and that takes me forever so I am curious if you guys have made this um how long does it take you or would you consider this to be an amigurumi that takes you a little bit longer than you would think it would because that's what it was for me i thought it would be a little bit of a faster make um so yeah if i make more which i really want to because they're just so cute um i just i want to pay attention and actually like time myself to see how long it takes me because it's so so cute and I I'm just I love it this is one of my favorite colors so that's probably why I'm like really in love with it the last thing I know it's a short video but the last make that I have for this week this is I'm pretty sure I got the pattern through a pattern test but it's a paid for pattern on Etsy and it's called Weston the cow. He's a super cute cow. I love making cows. I have my own cow pattern, but I love making different cows. So this one is really cute. There is a bit of selling to it. Um, all the pieces are sewn on separately. Um, yeah, I was just making, yeah, <laughs> I was making sure. It's been a bit, it's been almost two weeks since I made this one and yes i sewed everything on i'm sure you know you could find um the placements and crochet the pieces on the limbs on but that's not in the pattern in the pattern you sew everything on so the ears the horns the snout the spot two arms and two legs so there's a bit of sewing here but he's so cute i love making him i've actually made I think this is maybe the second one and I literally use the same colors to remake them because I don't have a lot of white yarn <laughs> you might have noticed uh I hardly make things in white because like this is a like a brunette blanket type white this is kind of like a homespun white I don't have a lot of regular white yarn this is like a thin like a three weight white um same with that one it's like a blanket so yeah I have to buy some more white yarn but I was using up some tan yarn you know we're using the yarn that we have and I think he's so so cute so paid for pattern quite a bit of sewing but worth it <laughs> in my opinion um that's all I have for this week there was six um ducks two cats and then some random ones so six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve um also the highland cow and the bumblebee were an order that I showed you guys like two weeks ago maybe that got picked up during the time period that I wasn't recording videos and she loved it she really really loved it and I was like yeah I, I could take custom orders every now and then uh I talked about um custom orders in the video where I was sewing the Highland cow together and I was saying how uh, if it's something that I want to make, I am like excited to make that order. So this, it was really nice. The lady was super, super sweet. Uh, I enjoy talking to her. So that made it extra special. Um, basically, the reason there was no video uh, last week of everything that I crocheted and the two videos that I did post last week were kind of recorded earlier in the week. Uh, I had to put my dog to sleep. I had to put him down. Um, he was an older dog. He was 16, a French poodle, and he had a lot of health issues, but they got significantly worse the last two months. Um, the vet checked him out and she was just reassuring us that you know, we made the right, we're making the right decision because that was the day that we took him in and it was just so hard. Um, you know, we love our fur babies so much. They're my kids. <laughs> uh, so I still, I have Zuko, my Corgi and the two cats, but I'm keeping an eye on Zuko because he is such an emotional dog. Like 
when I remember when I first got him and I was like trying to figure out how to train him if I yell at him like he gets sad so I haven't yelled at him for a very long time but you know when you're going through training <laughs> training the dogs there's definitely different emotions and um trying to figure out like how they learn best and stuff but yeah he is definitely an emotional baby so I love him so much I'm keeping an eye on him he seems to be a little bit sad and yeah it just happened like he he doesn't have his brother anymore he hasn't he's never been an only dog his whole life he's always had Pee-wee his older brother so uh yeah it's been difficult it's there's peace in knowing that he is not in pain because I'm pretty sure in the last like month he at least the last month he was feeling something and that makes me feel you know guilty and bad but he he lived a good life and I want to remember him in his puppy days and I'm sure he's prancing around heaven he's waiting for us now so I miss him a lot um but I'm glad that I had him I was so blessed to have him in my life and yeah I'll see him again but that was the reason there was no video last week um yeah I wasn't crocheting a whole lot for a few days I was just taking in being you know emotional and you know that's okay I was just yeah dealing with emotions but um like I said I'm feeling you know a little bit better about it now and just finding peace in the situation but sorry to I don't want to leave this on a sad note but um trying to think of something else to tell you guys uh, I was glad I, I did get a second order on my Etsy, and that was exciting. Here's to the third. <laughs> um, I'm still posting on there whenever I make new plushies. I try to post them on there, and like I'll post on Instagram when I post new things on there. Um, yeah, I don't really have something like exciting to tell you guys this week. It was just... It was a difficult week but it'll be okay and um yeah sorry about leaving it on a sad note that's why i wanted to kind of just save it to the end too i didn't want to start the video like this but um yeah thank you so much for joining me thank you for watching and for liking the video subscribing commenting i love reading your guys's comments uh i hope you guys all have an absolutely wonderful day um, please let me know if you do make the starfish how long it takes you to make it. I promise the next time I make this starfish I'm gonna time myself. So I'm curious how long does it take you to make it? I think it's so so cute and the designer genius. Honestly she's genius. <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys then in the next video. Bye!